Hello my dear friends, welcome back to Infigyan. In this video, we are going to solve one very interesting question from algebra. We'll be solving one cubic equation x cube minus 6x square plus 9x minus 3 equal to 0. So let's get started with our substitution straight away. I will consider x equal to 2 minus u. which we are going to apply to our cubic equation. So we will get 2 minus u whole cube minus 6 times 2 minus u whole square plus 9 times 2 minus u minus 3 equal to 0. Now we can use a minus b whole cube formula here and a minus b whole square formula here and we will get 8 minus u cube a cube minus b cube minus 3a square b will give us minus 12u plus 3ab square will give us 6u square. Now we have to simplify second term we will be getting minus 6u square plus 24u minus 24. Then we will simplify third and fourth term. 9 times 2, 18 minus 9u minus 3 equal to 0. Now we will simplify our LHS and we will get minus u cube plus 3u minus 1 equal to 0. Now I will add 1 to both sides. So plus 1 plus 1. So plus and minus 1 from left hand side will be over. We will get 3u minus u cube in our LHS. And RHS will be 1. Now I will use another substitution. Let me write equation here. 3u minus u cube equal to 1. Let us put x equal to 2 sin theta. Let's apply. We will get 3 times 2 sin theta. This is 3 minus u cube. We will write 2 sin theta whole cube equal to 1. Now 3 times 2 is 6. So we will write 6 sin theta minus 2 cube is 8 sin theta whole cube is sin cube theta right hand side we have 1. Now I will divide both sides by 2. Let's divide by 2 both sides. So 6 over 2 is 3. We can write 3 sin theta minus 8 over 2 is 4. We will write minus 4 sin cube theta and RHS is half. Now you can see left hand side is one trig identity. Sin 3a or sin 3 theta is 3 sin theta minus 4 sin cube theta. So in this place we can write sin 3 theta equal to half. Now hmm. this is one trigonometric equation which we can easily solve using general solution method. So let me write here sin 3 theta. This will be equal to half. So in place of half we can write sin pi over 6 which is sin 30. Or we can think about sin 5 pi over 6 which is sin 150. So I can write the general solution 3 theta. This will be equal to 2k pi plus pi over 6, 3 theta equal to 2k pi plus 5 pi over 6. Here k is integer. I can write here k will be equal to 0, 1, 2. Now we have our substitution. If I will write here u equal to 2 sin theta and I will begin with the first general solution. But before that I need to divide both sides by 3. 
सो आई कैन राइट थ्रीटा विल बी टू के पाई ओवर थ्री प्लस पाई ओवर एटीन From first equation, if we will divide by three both sides, we'll be getting theta is equal to two k pi over three plus pi over eighteen. Now I will plug in theta value here, so I can write two sine two k pi over three plus pi over eighteen. Now I will plug in k equal to zero. to find out the value of u1 first i am saying for k equal to 0 u is equal to u1 so we will write 2 sin 2 times 0 times pi over 3 so that is 0 pi over 18 so we will be writing 2 sin pi over 18 this is our u1 now i will plug in k equal to 1 so i can write u2 value will be equal to 2 sin 2 pi over 3 plus pi over 18 now 2 pi over 3 is if we will multiply numerator denominator by 6 we can say 12 pi over 18 so 12 plus 1 is 13 pi over 18 i can write 2 sin 13 pi over 18 this is our U two. Now we can write here U two equal to two sine thirteen pi over eighteen will be equal to two sine. I can write this will be equal to pi minus five pi over eighteen. Once we will take LCM, eighteen pi minus five pi is thirteen pi. Denominator is eighteen. Now sine pi minus theta is sine theta, so we will be writing here two sine five pi over eighteen. This is our u two. Now we have to plug in k equal to two to get the value of u three. This will be equal to two sine. If I will plug in, I will be getting twenty five pi over eighteen. This will be equal to 25 pi over 18. Again, we can write 2 sine 25 over 18. We can write pi plus 7 pi over 18. 18 plus 7 is 25. And we know that sine of pi plus theta is minus sine theta. So I can write u3 will be equal to Minus two sine seven pi over eighteen. This is our u three. Now we have to find out x one, x two, x three. As we know, u one, u two, u three. Let me write x is equal to our substitution was two minus u. So I can write x one will be equal to two minus u one. X two will be equal to two minus u two, and x three will be equal to two minus u three. Let me write u one, u two, u three here. Here it is u one, u two, and u three. Now we can easily calculate x one will be two minus u one, or I can write two minus two times sine pi over eighteen. Now I can take two common out. So we are going to get our first real solution: two times one minus sine pi over eighteen. Now x two will be equal to two minus u two. So in place of u two, we are going to plug in two sine five pi over eighteen. So two sine five pi over eighteen. Again, we can take two common. to get our second real solution or root 1 minus sin 5 pi over 18 now we have u3 here so we can easily find x3 2 minus u3 we will write 2 plus 2 sin 
7 pi over 18 again we'll be taking 2 common out we'll be getting 1 plus sine 7 pi over 18 this is our third real solution and from our second general solution equation theta is equal to 2k pi plus 5 pi over 6 we are going to get the same results x1 x2 x3 so here we have our final three real roots i hope friends you will like this video thank you so very much for watching do not forget to like share and subscribe bye bye till next video good luck take care bye bye